bear with me as I destroy the left's hissy fit that they've been throwing over the past four years. Because I've been analyzing and studying human psychology along with the power of the mind for over 30 years now. See, when you reflect back and you look what happened during the pandemic, you can see that there was a lot of fear pushed in the beginning, wasn't there? It was going to kill 10% of Americans, they told us. That's 30 million people, folks. I think we came up a little short. But with that fear narrative, it was forced upon a lot of people. And with that fear narrative, when there's no information that supports that fear narrative, they start making up information to support it. All right? That's how ego works. And so when this happens, when people are constantly in this kind of fear um, mindset, it bypasses the frontal lobe, which that's where logic reasoning, and decision-making takes place. But when they're in fear, they bypass that and they go right to reptilian mode or reptilian brain, as they call it. And that's where fight or flight happens. We witness this time and time again with the pandemic, with the lockdowns, with the mandates, with forcing upon society an untested and unproven procedure. Now we're starting to witness a new fear narrative that the alphabet mafia is pushing on our society. Now, with this new fear narrative, they're making up things as they go along that if we don't do this, kids are going to commit suicide and we're going to endanger kids. But now, new research is coming out saying, nope, that's not right. We have a problem right now. And what we're doing right now with everything in our public schools is actually damaging these kids even more. See, when new information becomes available, people who utilize their frontal lobe they're going to accept this new information and they're going to analyze it. And that's when a decision can be made and saying, oh, maybe we screwed up. Maybe we shouldn't do this. But unfortunately, in our egotistical society, people don't want to be proven wrong. People don't want to be told, hey, I told you you were wrong. So what happens? They allow their ego to get involved and they dig their heels in the sand. And they will label you a conspiracy theorist, a quack, a homophobe right? An extremist, all these things. And you're sitting back and say, well, wait a minute, this is the information. And what happened during the pandemic is they made new research to combat the research that was contradicting their new fear belief system. We see it time and time again. And then what happens is corporate media continues to fuel that narrative, that fear, because fear sells. And then social media joins the fray and old Twitter, not the new Twitter, but old Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok will deplatform you when you stand up against this narrative, this fear-induced narrative, or they'll create the algorithms that silence you, not allowing the confusion or not allowing the information to get out, which causes more confusion, which causes more division, and we basically rip our own country apart. And so bottom line, X is the only platform right now that is allowing constructive conversation, constructive dialogue. That's what needs to happen. No matter what side that you are on, be humble, be willing to accept new information that contradicts your old fear belief system or old limiting belief system. And that's how we move this country forward. Check your ego. Check your ego.